welcome everybody to the next video in my Majora's Mask walkthrough. In the last video, we completed the first three-day cycle, we got our Ocarina of Time back, Human Form back, and completed the de got the Deco Mask. So, what we have to do now is basically repeat everything we did as a Deku scrub. So let's start by creating save states. And actually, one of the first things we want to do is take out our Ocarina and play their song of reverse time. This will slow time way down. And you kind of learn it from the scarecrow that's in the observatory or the trading post. And it gives me a lot more time to get tasks done. All right, so now the first thing, of course, we want to do is head to the laundry pool, which if we head straight forward. Now everybody else kind of slows down, but we do not. Oh, I'm kind of running into the tower there. Okay, there's the guard to the right, so if I head this way and stay with the wall on the left, we should end up in the laundry pool. There we go, up the ramp. Okay, laundry pool, make a save state. So, navigating this area is a little difficult, and getting the straight fairy is just kind of jumping around until I actually find it. All right, got her. All right, so let's save. Okay, now we gotta try to find a way out of the laundry pool. That's always fun. Yeah. All right. Hopefully this is heading out. All right, I think that's the fastest I've ever gotten out of the laundry pool before. Okay, now we wanna head towards North Clock Town, of course. Easiest, one of the easiest ways to do that is to go through East Clock Town, actually. So I know this is heading towards East Clock Town. Save again. Okay. No, I don't want to target that. Okay. I know if I head forward and then basically curve around to the left, keeping the sound of the construction towers on my left, I'll be basically heading the right direction. There's the guard that heads out the east entrance. That's a good indicator. That I'm about halfway towards the north. Just keep moving my way around to the left. Oh, I'm still by the guard, so I'm not really making any progress. Oh, here we go. Okay. Heading around this way. Is this North Clock Town? Okay, this is the north part of South Clock Town, so we can work with this. Just turn right. Up this way. Oh. oh, no, that's not. I didn't want to do that. Okay, we're working our way up here. Oh, and this is it. Yep, North Clock Town. Okay, I know the ferry is kind of up. And if I head to the left, this way. Out of my way, Jim. Oh, up the ramp. Okay, save here, because I know this is super close. Hey, I think that's the quickest I've ever found it. Okay, heading forward. Okay. I think the reason I'm navigating a little bit easier now is because, you guys don't know, but I've been trying to include the webcam and take out the delay when I reload save states. It kind of messes up the graphics for like two or three seconds. And... Those just weren't working right. The game was freezing, my microphone was messing up, the OBS window kept getting dragged, so I was only getting one-sixth of the window. So this is my fifth time recording this section. <laughs> so I've gotten pretty good at it. So what we get here is, I think she heals you, fills up your magic, and we get the Great Fairy Mask. Now this comes great later in the game when you're in the dungeons and there's stray fairies. To collect all of them, you need this mask, and those stray fairies help you get the upgraded powers in this game. Okay, let's see if we can walk out of here. Yay! Okay, one thing we do not need to do is hide and seek again, because 
we know the code to get into the bomber's hideout. So we can head straight to East Clock Town. There we go. East Clock Town. Nope. Okay, head to the right. Looking for the kid. Is that him? Yep, that's him. So our code is four, two, five, one, three. Yay! Okay. okay now we gotta not walk away from the sewers. Okay. Save state again. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is I watched Zor Zelda's video through navigating through here, and hopefully I can do it a little bit better. So, hop, turn left, head this way. Okay, hop right. Try to stay kind of to the left side of the uh, walls here. Okay, now swim forward until I try to get into shallow water, hopefully. Okay, there's the Skotula to my far left. Ow. You know what I realized, guys? I'm in the wrong section. Okay, try this again. So, let's just try to do it the way I did before. So, hop down, save here. Okay, now, straight to the left. Kind of go this way. I was almost going to the section where there's a bombable wall, which I'll show later once I get a different mask. Now this, ow. There should be shallow water over here somewhere. Alright, so we're just gonna head forward. Okay, so let's save here. This might help us. And head left. Okay, I know this torch. That's a good sign. Okay. Oh, I hear a skull tula. Okay. But I don't want to kill it. I want to go around. Because I want to use it later as a signal to be able to get back into this area. So I'm on this side of it. That's good. Okay, so now we're heading into the area where the torches are along the wall. So let's head this way. Okay, I hear the torches on the walls. So as soon as I get to one, I'm going to line up with it and start hopping left. Okay, the ladder should be... Let's hop left, see if we're in the water. Nope, I think... Yeah. Oh, I think the ladder's right about here. Come on, Link, I have faith in you. There you go. Okay, so we need to hop down, turn around, and now we actually need our Deku mask. This transformation's kind of cool. <laughs> That's scary. Okay, so now we need to use our lag bubble. There we go. All right. Oh, what am I doing? Save. And we can transfer back. And you only have to watch that transformation one time. You don't have to watch it every time. So, okay, where's my ladder? Found my ladder. Okay, let's head on up, 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 up the stairs we go. Or ladder. And cue the cool music again. All right, so we've got to wander our way up the staircase. It's a little easier as a human. Oh, I should say a Hylian. Okay, save. Now we've got to find the guy again. Professor, I actually don't recall what his full name is. Okay, that was easy. So because you're in your highly informed, he doesn't say as much. Now I gotta do this section again. So again, up, left, or right, I should say. And I, I know this time, since it's the first day, he is acting silly. The moon is still crying. Someone did leave a comment on one of my first videos that was cool. They said, 
wouldn't it not wouldn't it be funny if the um moon had a runny nose and i replied that said well the people of clock town would say that's not funny <laughs> okay so now we have to do what we did before is go outside and find the moon's tier and actually found a good method to do that I find if I get to the top of the stairs that bring you up here, like right here, turn around. The stairs should be right around here somewhere. Or the, I'm sorry, the door. There we go. All right, now we gotta get the moons here. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> Zelda theme! My name is Link, my name is Link, my name is Link, my name is Link, my name is Link. Oh no! I don't want to deal with shoes yet, go away! Okay, we gotta get back inside. The two ruined my theme. There we go. Okay, to the left. Okay, down the staircase. Keep it going. Okay, that's the scarecrow. Oh. I got a little turned around. Okay. Oh, okay, this is the area back into the sewers. Okay. Hop down. Come back to the wall. I do this so I can get like a straight shot away from the wall. And now let's see if we cannot find our Sklatula friend. I hear the splashes um, in the water. Someone told me in one of my, oh, the comments as well that that is the sound of the water splashing down from the ceiling. Oh, I hear our Sklatula friend. Okay, turn left. There he is. Thanks, buddy. Okay. Swim! Swim for your life! Oh. I don't know if I want to be swimming, uh, having the screen turn around that much. Um, okay, that basically took me uh, basically in a big circle. Let's try to keep that torch on our right. Now kind of swim around. Okay, let's try here. Okay. Oh, and there's the clocks to the left. Okay, I think I know where I am. I think I have to head here to the right. To the right. Okay, get up again. Okay, let's save here. Okay. Um, let's this way. Are we lucking out now? Yeah, out of the sewers. Okay. Now I want to do. Oh. Okay. So, the reason I didn't have to play hide and seek is because I knew their code, and they're like, he got in there, he knew the code, and now that I'm a Hylian, again, they're going to give me membership into their gang, and also give me the Bomber's Notebook. The Bomber's Notebook, what it is, it allows you to see what tasks you have completed in the game, you get little happy stickers once you complete everything, and see you've already completed the Bomber's Notebook. 
And you don't have to memorize your code from here on out because now it will be in your bomber's notebook. Okay, now what you want to do, or we want to do, is go to that Deku flower in South Clock Town and go ahead and touch it so we can exchange our Moon's Tear for the title deed. We need to do that again. Okay, this should be South Clock Town, the north part of South Clock Town. Oh, I want you to drop down. And kind of head around, heading towards the towers now. Okay, here's the pool. I know if I climb. Okay, it's right. Oh, it already touched it. Okay. All right, when it gives us the option, we need to go into our menu. Okay, so now where is that title deed? I mean, Moon's Tear. Is it? Yay! We have the title deed! And now he's gonna take off super slowly again. Waiting on you so I can continue with the game. Okay. Now we want to go back to North Clock Town. Let's see if I can get around. Let's see if I can get up there going this way. Oh, and actually, um, no, I'll take care of that later. It's the uh, owl statue. I'm not quite sure exactly where I am on the on here right now, so I'll find a better direction to that later. Okay, I think I'm getting close to the top of the ramp. Okay, is this it? No, not quite. We basically walked in a giant, like, three-quarter circle. Okay, so now let's go this way. Who's walking? <laughs> I'm waiting for my shoes to get off um, wood onto. Um, I don't know if you call it pavement or concrete or. progress. Okay, what is this? This is West Clock Town. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Okay. To the left. Okay. Oh, oh, yes, yes, North Clock Town. Made it! Okay, now what we want to do is get a piece of heart. So over here in the northeastern corner of this area is a playground, and Link has already found the slide. You can't go up it. But to the left of that are some pillars and stuff I can get up on. I just gotta find one to jump up on to start this little puzzle. Okay, I finally found one. Okay, let's see if I hop forward. Nope. Okay, you gotta do to try to do some directions here. Okay, let's try heading a little to the right. There we go. Okay. Oh. Okay. Now I know if I have Jim on my left and I'm basically facing this way, that is relatively good aim to try to get onto the higher platform.
Got it. Finally. All right. So now what we want to do is actually play our ocarina again. Um, Latin title lead. Um, ocarina. And we want to speed time back up to normal. Because what we want to do now is there is a task we want to wait for until... All right. What I'm also going to do is play the song at double time. This will bring us to 6 o'clock on the first night. Skip these animations. Okay. So, what we're waiting for now is... The lady from the bomb shop is going to come through this area carrying goods for the bomb shop. Sakin the thief is going to come out and try to take her goods. We got to stop him from doing that if we want the bigger bomb bag at the bomb shop on the second day. So we're going to wait around here. She comes through at midnight, so we're just going to wait around until it actually starts. Oh, Sakin is making his uh, attack. See? There it is. Okay, let's save. Right, let's get him. Come here. Oh, okay, let's try it again. Got him. I think I moved, sometimes I move too fast because I think he's moving like extremely slow, but now he's running away, you coward. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, uh, uh. They use that sound a lot for a lot of the characters in this game. So now we've got the blast mask. What the blast mask allows us to do is create an explosion just in front of our face. So it's like your head explodes, but um, it doesn't. But you actually do take damage like if you got hit with a regular bomb. So now that we have that, we want to head back to the sewers. There was an area that I kind of went to where I kind of got messed up in what direction I was heading. Yeah, we want to go to that section now, and I walked right straight towards East Clocktown. How lucky am I? Oh, and let's do one more thing. Let's slow time back down. I'll be playing this song a lot because it's going to definitely help me out since I take a little more time to get tasks done. Yes, please. Okay. Now, I already talked to the kid, so I shouldn't need to use the code. I should be able to just waltz right in there like that. Okay, so now I want to do is follow the left wall and just stay with it. So this shallow water is a good sign. Okay, more left. More left. Okay, I'm about to a place where I want to save. Okay. Okay, now we want to use the Skotula again as the guide. Okay, where are you? Ow. Thanks for letting me know. Okay, I want to go past him. Okay, because on this wall over here, I think I'm on the right wall. See that? That's where we can explode a wall. So we get our blast mask. Okay, now what you can do with the blast mask is put the mask on, put up your shield, then push B. And that way you don't actually take any damage. Now, behind this wall is a small chest. And I hate opening small chests. These seem to take me forever. Oh, I'm still wearing the blast mask. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. I was wondering why I couldn't take my sword out. Okay, there's the chest. Can I just please open it? Please? That would be nice. 
Yay! 100 rupees! So, and that rupee will, will regenerate every time that you start the three-day cycle. So you can always come here and get that um, rupee. Alright, now let's make it past our friend here. Okay, good. Am I right? If I know if I'm heading this way, we're heading back out. Okay. Climb up somewhere, Link. Anywhere. Okay. No, I don't think I want to head that way. I got turned around somewhere. Okay. Oh yeah, I definitely got turned around. Okay. So let's head, put him kind of behind us and swim this way. Okay, let's save here. Okay, um, water. Okay, the only problem with the double, um, with the song of double time enabled, the uh, reverse time enabled, is the sound of the clock doesn't chime as often. And sometimes I do use that as a navigator, like that time I'm heading completely the wrong way. Now to the right. Okay, I'm gonna save here because maybe this is it. I'm so confused. Okay, there we go. We're getting the sewers down. Okay, now we want to head to West Clock Town. Okay, North Clock Town. Okay, South Clock Town. So annoying. Okay. Okay, we want to head this way. Okay, now that we're in West Clock Town, let's play the song of double time without exploding our face. Okay, we're going to take it to the morning of the second day. So I'm going to play this animation through. So what is this animation? I assume since the playing going back three days, that one's kind of maybe the same thing with clocks, uh, but it's like zooming you forward instead of backward. Okay, so what we want to get to is the sword school, which is here on this northern wall. That actually might be it. Because um, it's a piece of heart we can get. As soon as I can find where the door is. Is this it? Yes, this is what we want. Blind Samurai. Alright, now this game is actually a little harder than I initially thought it would be. Mostly because... Oh, I'll explain it when we get started here. So, he has a novice course, which allows you to just learn sword strikes if you're a beginner. He also has an expert course, which, if you get 
all the points, which means you slice all 10 logs, you can get a piece of heart. Now they're harder because the logs show up in different locations. So I basically save state throughout this entire thing. First one's easy, right there. See, I'm already lost. Where's the second one? All right, so reset. What do you mean I wasn't in the right place? Oh, there it is. Okay, got two. I mean one. Oh, that was a pathetic beginning. And I know the delay on my reloading the state is not going to help with this game very much at all. So I'm sorry about that. Okay, I found the second log. Okay, that's two levels down. Usually this third one's the hardest. Okay. Oh, I was so close. Okay. Okay, third one done. Fourth. Oh, there's one log. Four. One more level. Last log. And let's see if we got a piece of heart. Piece of heart. So we've got two pieces of heart and two masks. We are just 100% in this game so far. Okay. <laughs> so now we want to actually leave as soon as I find out where the door is. All right, so the next place I want to head to is the bomb shop. As soon as I figure out where that is, and it's raining again. 